Hello, GSU, and welcome to Jaguar Sports Talk Nation, where we get the scoop on the games. I'm your host, Charles Clayton, here with the game-changing coach, Coach Tony Bates. Man, How you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. Welcome, welcome to the show. So, man, the season, or not the season, but the basketball program has been underway for a few years now. Y'all been to three straight postseasons, man. What's, what's your recipe to success? Well, you know, our, my coaching staff really works hard as far as getting the right student athletes we need. Uh, to compete, and uh, I just think they did a fantastic job doing that, and the players are, came in and bought in, and I think that's always important for you to be successful. Mm -hmm. Man, we were talking a little bit about the seniors and the people you, uh, losing. I know you're out there doing some recruiting now, so what are some of your goals for heading into next season on how to strengthen and bolster the team up? Well, we're, gonna, we're losing probably about 57% of our scoring for next year with our four seniors. So that's a lot of scoring. So we're out there now recruiting to um, bring in some student athletes that can score the ball and uh, also, of course, defend. We do have some individuals coming back that can score um, the basketball, but uh, overall we need to balance out the scoring attack for next year. Okay. Now, I know this season you guys didn't have the best of luck with road games, away games. Is there anything that you're going to, any strategies for coaching that you have to address kind of doing better on the road? Well, I, I tell you, this year we didn't, we didn't have um, – many injuries when it came to uh, physically, but, but mentally we had a couple of players that were out for quite a few games. So mm -hmm. it was tough to get, a, get chemistry and to, to win on the road, you have to be mentally tough and have good chemistry. And we had our ups and downs with that this last past season. Mm -hmm. Now, Chris Pride and DeAndre Robinson, I know two seniors, well, Chris Pride is senior, named to the all CCAC second team. How key were the two of those players to your overall success for this season? Oh, they were very big, uh, Chris. Scored a whole bunch of points for us. And Robinson was probably our best, best double double man. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I don't know what it would be without them this past season. They came in and accepted their roles. And being their first year in our program, you know, it's kind of tough to learn our system defensively and offensively, but they picked up on it pretty well and was able to help us to be successful this year. So, Justin Seorg, he's played his final game in the Jaguars uniform, man. Just tell us a little bit what it's been about since he's come here to the university and how you acquired him and just watching him progress over the years and, you know, Finishes now just second all-time leading scorer. How's that been watching him, his fruition? It's been great. Uh, we uh, recruited Justin out of high school, and he was highly recruited. Uh, and my pitch was, Justin, we're a new program. We need some players with, with a vision. And uh, I can promise you that uh, we'll win a championship in four years. And I was fortunate enough for us to fulfill our promise to him. And he's just been a phenomenal young man over the years. People don't understand how difficult it is to score 1,000 points because it takes consistency, um, not being injured, and the whole nine yards. But a, a true Jaguar is based on three things for me. Um, good student, um, good in the community, and also a basketball player. And, and, jo and, jo and Justin exemplifies all those three things. And I'm really going to miss Justin and hopefully stays around and, and helps us out with a little coaching aspect of it. But um, just the ultimate Jaguar. So I know off camera we spoke a little bit about for next year, you have seven seniors that will be leaving. That's a lot of people leaving the team. What are your plans now? I'm sure you want to get an early start on that while you're recruiting now. What are your plans to address that so, you know, you can lighten that burnt when it does yeah, come? Yeah, fortune, that's a great question. Fortunately, in the uh, NAI level, uh, we're able to recruit year-round. Right. So we're, ac we're actually talking to some juniors already for this coming up season to just be prepared. But I tell you, having seven seniors is a great thing because you got seven more young men that are going to be graduating going on and doing some successful things in life. So I never look at, at seniors as a bad thing. I look at it as an accomplishment that's going to be happening soon. And, and I'm going to sit and cry with their mom and dad when they graduate as well. That's what it's all about for me. Student athlete first. Students, the first word. So. Absolutely. Man, that's all we got for today, uh, Coach. Anything you want to add for our fans out there about uh, coming up and supporting? We've seen, you know, we're slowly doing renovations and stuff in the gymnasium and stuff, and you guys keep winning and packing the house out. Anything you want to say to well, them? I just think we play, a, we play a, a nice style of basketball. Uh, we're up and down, and, and it's exciting. And uh, we just like you to come out and watch us and just continue to support us. And I just think uh, from the media department, you guys do a, a fantastic job uh, sponsoring our games and, and back and forth. And even this here, this is top notch. So if you're out there, you want a major in communications, this is also a place to be because they do a great job here at GSU. Much appreciated, Coach Bates. Well, hey, I'm Charles Clayton, and this is Jaguar Sports Talk Nation. Until next time.